What's up? It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and Jasmine from the JasmineBrand.com is here mm-hmm. also. Okay, Jasmine from the Jasmine brand. Uh oh. And Jabari we've, Banks. Jabari, yes. can we introduce you first? Sorry, before? My God, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sheesh. And Jabari Banks is here. You know him as Will mm-hmm. on Bel Air. Mm-hmm. But go ahead and now say what you know, I feel like I feel like I have seen your face somewhere before. I met we you have before. Met, mm-hmm. Right. You had different color hair, I think. Yeah, yeah. What was it pink? I don't know. It was different. Okay. Yeah, I don't it was know different. if it was pink. Oh, it was you were trying to do the Jasmine brand pink yeah, hair thing? Yeah, but I did have pink hair like last year. <laughs> I did have pink hair. Uh, well, Jabari, first of all, I just want to say congratulations to you. Mm. A successful series, which is not an easy thing to do. Yeah. Bel Air on Peacock. And you guys have been renewed for a season three. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, season three. That's, uh, that's huge. Mm-hmm. That's huge. I'm super excited for season three. And yeah. so how has life changed for you now? Because I can just imagine that when you go places, everybody knows who you are. Nah, I'm like a little undercover right now because my hair is a little different. Oh. Uh, I so recognize you in the hall now. Yeah, no, but some people are like, oh, do you? are you that guy from Bel Air? Nah, nah, he doesn't have that. His hair isn't that long. So I, li- I like to switch it up, you know, change it up on people. But uh, but it is, my life is a lot different. But um, what's, the, what's, the, what's, the, what's the biggest difference? Ooh. Um, yeah, just, you know, there's, yeah, just being recognized mm-hmm. out in public and stuff like that. Like, I can't really... You know, I could do the things that I used to do, but it's a little different. It's a little different now, you know? Okay. And free stuff. Free stu- oh, a a stuff. A lot of free stuff. A lot of free stuff. That's crazy. <laughs> People don't talk about that. You know what I mean? You get a lot of they, good free stuff. What's, the best, free what's stuff. the best free thing you've gotten yeah, thus far? Yeah, I mean, know I that. came, I, so I came here uh, to New York the first day, I think, or the second day I came here, I, I went to JD Sports because okay. uh, I have a deal with them. And uh, we, we did, we did a, a segment over there, and then they were like, just shop. Just shop all over the so store. Just, I just how much how did you yeah like, how did you clothes. feel did you feel like I got to take it easy or did you go in? Nah, I went in. I went in. <laughs> I went in. I bought my mom some stuff too though. Okay. It wasn't all for me. Like you know what I mean? That's good. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I yeah. feel like if somebody told me that, I still would be like, well, I don't want to go too crazy. And I'd be like, yeah, yeah just get it, get it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, that's yeah, good. Yeah, free stuff is one of the perks. And then I'm sure like when you go to restaurants and things, best table in the house. Yeah, yeah, that's a blessing too. You know, actually, I was I was actually at a restaurant. I think like last year around this time. Mm-hmm. the show had come out and like this kid ran up to me he was like I love your show and his mom followed him and she was like yeah he got his hair cut just like you so like Aww. little things like that it's like were you broke before or you did okay financially before I mean I my I wasn't I I was broke my my family's not broke okay, okay. You know what okay. I mean like gotcha. I, I didn't so really you weren't poor that. growing up. Okay, got no, it. No, broke no, is no, harsh. No, like, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I because wasn't. I was yeah. broke growing up. Yeah, so I know, no. like, I was rich in many other things. Okay, you know what I mean? rich right. love. Yeah, exactly. Got it. Exactly. Well, well, we were, we were, we were. How rich. were you raised, like, with your family? Just talk about that a little bit. You know, were they or yeah. any of them in the arts, or what did they think about you, this path that you're going down? No, none, none of them are in the arts. I have four brothers, four mm-hmm. older brothers. Um, so it was all five of us living with my mom, and my dad, and. Um, you know, we made it happen, um, but um, you know, I, I grew up playing sports and stuff like that, so I figured that that we was noticed. gonna be my path. Yeah, <laughs> I figured that that was gonna be my path growing up because all my brothers play sports too, so that was like our thing. Mm-hmm. And then in high school, uh, it kind of just like like I, I that kind of just left the building, and 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 I started doing arts, mm-hmm. and um, then I, it really blossomed in college. I went to the University of the Arts in, in Philly, and um, and then. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, it kind of just blossomed from there. That's where I found my manager, nice. and uh, and he put me on to my agents, and then Woo-woo. one thing led to another, and I'm here. So you're the baby yeah. of the family. The baby of the family. Yeah. How does so how does that affect you? Because I always wonder. Like uh, you said, you're the youngest of how many boys? Four boys. Uh, five of us. So there's yeah. five of us, and you're mm-hmm. the youngest. Yep. First and of all, all that's those, a lot of kids. You yeah, know how much yeah. fighting must have went on in that yeah, house? Oh yeah. Oh, big fights. A lot yeah. of fights. But Lots of fights. Yeah, but a lot of <laughs> testosterone. But yeah, you know, Ooh, it's good. It's a good. lot of Mom. wrestling. A lot of like, a I can't of... breathe. Get off me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got it the worst too. <laughs> Growing up, actually, I thought I was ugly. I'm not gonna lie. I thought <laughs> oh, I was ugly. Oh, you think you're not now? Oh, you called I'm just broke. joking with you. No, I'm you just know. joking. She's like, you broke? I'm just you joking. ugly. I'm joking. You're very cute. Yeah, she's bringing me down to earth. Don't I need, forget I need, it. I need people like her. Uh, <laughs> no, no, so because my brothers were like, yeah, I have like, my eyes are like far apart or whatever, so they used to call me a bug all the time. So they did? Yeah, but, but I feel like when you do that, like, when you kind of grow up in that sort of way, like, you don't have to depend on, like, your looks to get you things. You know yeah. what I mean? So, like, I, I was never one of those kids that was thought I was like, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. oh, like it pretty privilege or whatever like you know what I mean so I I, I developed a personality <laughs> you know what I mean and I right. feel like that's been helping me did the girls like years. you though no no really? I mean I was I was I kind of floated around I wasn't never like the like most popular kid but I was kind of cool with everybody because I played sports and stuff like how that, many so. people double back that maybe you try to holler Man, at like, the hey. is crazy now. <laughs> double back is crazy I'm not you know lie. I always had kind of lightweight thoughts you was right yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
yeah, I gotta you gotta respect it though. Uh-huh. <laughs> what do your What do your brothers do in terms of career and stuff? Since you're the only one in the arts, um, some of them are in tech. Okay. Um, I don't even really know. Okay. I don't even really know to be honest. You're such a brother. <laughs> you know, I don't know what no, you I love do. my brothers, but I don't yeah. really. I, I know don't. he go to work. I just don't know. <laughs> one of my brothers, my oldest brother, he DJs. Oh he really? DJs, okay. Yeah, yeah. He's like you're a jazzy Jeff. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah, he does his little DJ gigs on the side, but he's like in tech and stuff like that. Yeah. I know you have some other roles coming up too. I saw that you're. Yeah. So tell us about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I um, I'm working on this new project. It's called uh, Bad Genius. Mm-hmm. Uh, we start in Vancouver, filming in April, and I'm super excited about that. That's yeah. good because sometimes timing wise, because you've been filming Bel Air mm-hmm. and now yeah. it's been renewed, mm-hmm. and I've, I've heard stories of people that want to do a project but they can't because of timing and yeah. everything. But the timing was right for you. Yeah, exactly. Timing is everything. Uh, and and uh, and my team was like, we're, we're gonna we're gonna wait and, and we're gonna look, it's, it's gonna be an assassin type of thing, right? Mm-hmm. And when the time is right, we got to strike, and we did, and and we uh, we booked it, and I'm super excited to start. What's it. that project about? Um, it's a, I, I, I don't want to say base, too Is much. it based on a true story? No, 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 okay. no, no. It's But it actually, is a remake. Yes, and it's an okay. adaption from a, from a Thai From film. 2017. Yeah, okay. and, um, and, uh, it's, it's, it's a thriller heist situation okay. about these two high school seniors and they're cheating the SAT. Did and, you have to audition for that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I'm not, I'm not there yet. Okay. They just, I don't know, know how it goes. I don't know. <laughs> they're giving me the call, but, uh, soon, soon come, you know? Okay. Yeah, yeah. And so what's dope about the role that you're playing now, first of all, you already love basketball. Mm-hmm. And yeah. imagine, because I don't think you could have gotten this role if you couldn't play basketball. No, that was a requirement. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. They were like, send us videos of you hooping. Hmm. What were yeah. the other requirements? Um, that's it. That's and, it. And be we good. Got, you got to play basketball. You know, knows how to play basketball and <laughs> is can act. You know what I mean? That's, that's basically it, yeah. Is that a real thing, playing basketball and hustling people like... You know, or are, are people taking money? I don't. I don't know about that. Yeah, yeah, it's a thing. I think. I think we. <laughs> I think on our show we kind of we we tend to drag it a certain a little bit, but but that it does happen. It does happen. And then I was very concerned. I'm gonna keep it real. Mm-hmm. Okay, when you were talking to the is he what is he AAU. Uh, like the He's the a coach, scout. A yeah, scout, yeah. right? When he Agent. was saying that he was trying to get you to sign this contract, mm-hmm. and it was going to be like some type of permanent contract, mm. you know? Isn't that is that what he was saying on the show? And then I know your uncle Phil came. And um, there, it, I don't know about the permanence of it, but it is a contract that yeah. you have to keep on paying. Like you have to. You know, because yeah. I, I remember Uncle How Phil saying, you watch? I don't, want <laughs> I remember him saying I that you're not going to own him. And right. so right, when right, I was right, seeing right. that, I was thinking the contract was kind of like, you know, some type of, I get this percentage permanently um, or something. Oh no, not permanently. Okay. No, no just about like, uh, when I, when I'm playing for him on his team. Cause then um, I saw some shystiness with, with Jackie mm-hmm. trying to get you to actually want to sign the deal. Yeah. So talk about that. Cause I feel like your character on the show would be a good match connection with a, a Jackie. Yeah, yeah. You know, Jackie kind of reminds him of home a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, you know what I mean? And and, and he they kind of speak the same language. And uh, he he likes that fire in her, that that spiciness. You know what I mean? That that's something that he hasn't gotten from from a lot of people out in Bel Air. So I think that's what um attracts him to her. Are yeah. we right to not trust her? Um, man, <laughs> like for real, like I, I don't want to say too much because it's it's gonna be nice when you when you watch it. Um, but she has good intentions. Okay, good. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah, yeah that, that's yeah. fair enough. Very careful with his answers. Yeah, yeah. Because like he can't give anything you know? away. I know. Yeah, yeah he's, like, <laughs> isn't it? he's like, I don't want to say too much. Right. But, mm. All right, and then in real life, you're also an artist. Yes. And we saw you on Jimmy Fallon. Yeah, yeah. That's my When jam. I tell you that went viral, Yo. people were so impressed. Do they yeah. give you this song ahead of time? Were you... Or is it on the spot? So, so I wasn't even supposed to be there. Mm-hmm. Fun fact. Um, it was supposed to be... Um, Oh man, rest in peace. It was actually supposed to be uh, uh, takeoff. Oh wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. really? That's right, because Quavo. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and um, and he he, he missed his flight, and so they called me and they were like, "Do you want to be on?" That's my jam, and I was like, "Yeah, yeah, sure, for, for yeah, of course." Mm-hmm. Um, and so they sent me they sent me like a list of things. They were like, "You could either do this, this, this for this segment," and I was mm-hmm. like, "Okay, I'll I'll try the Usher song." Okay. Um, and I practiced it like once before, and I was like, "I don't know how this is gonna go." <laughs> But I went up there and I did. Maybe you only thing. you only practice it once. Yeah, yeah. You I practiced it, it once. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank everybody you. was like, "Now this is impressive." I thought I could have done better. Really? Yeah, but it came off good. It came off well. Yeah, I thought I could have done better though. My my presence was. I was a little nervous. Well, you did only practice it once. Just yeah, you know? right. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, you only practiced it one time. <laughs> yeah, I did. So yeah. you were surprised at the uh, response? Uh-huh. I was. I was. I didn't even think it was gonna be like that. A thing. Yeah. yeah. What were your thoughts on when you first booked Bel Air? 
Did you think that wow. this was going to be something? Because I saw a lot of negativity about it at first. Mm -hmm. People were like, why are they trying to remake this classic? Mm -hmm. And sometimes that's a lot of pressure when somebody loves a show so much. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you being from Philly growing yeah, up, yeah. you know, Fresh Prince was your was your John. Mm -hmm. Is that what y'all say? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> or is that like a, is that like an old Philly thing? Or is it, is it I just still? had to say no, it. It's I'm like sorry. Everything. It's yeah. like a, everlasting it's like a, yeah, forever. Exactly, okay. Yeah. Did I say it right? John? Yeah, okay. yeah. I feel like you didn't. Well, how, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta just let it roll off the tongue. Like, can you but, say it in a sentence? <laughs> I mean, like, I could, like, like, how, how, what you want me to say? Like, <laughs> how, whatever, just so we can get an example. You just want me to say this, John? Like, you know what I mean? There you, you got it. Just like, got it. Off, <laughs> got it. Yeah, but, okay. But yeah, so you know, there was a lot of pressure around it in your head because sometimes people could get in their own head. Did you feel like this is gonna be something that's gonna get renewed and that's gonna last? Because it's hard to make a show last and really connect with people and I know the numbers have been going up yeah which is a blessing um I knew that it was gonna be special when I read the script the first time um I just knew that it was gonna be a feat that I was ready to take on to be able to like sell it to people you mm -hmm. know what I mean and, and for people to actually watch it because Peacock is like this new yeah streaming platform mm -hmm. what they're doing in Fresh Prince of Bel-Air reboot why right so like these are all the things I was feeling as well when yeah. I first saw the project I was like oh wow like I can't believe they're actually doing this and, and I read the script and I was like well this is actually pretty good like if, if it's executed well this could go over really well and um and so we, we just poured ourselves into it like I like super focused you know what I mean like major focus and and um so much love and uh, we got there every day, and we, we just like tackled it, and I think you know it came out really well. And uh, yeah, this season is doing is doing numbers too, so it's crazy. I think season three we're going way up. You know what I mean? Way up! Way up. Oh, yeah. that was clever. That's the show. What? Yeah, yeah go on. Cute. Mm -hmm. what, what's your what was your biggest fear in terms of the entire thing? Like, was it your delivering on screen? Was it mm. the reaction? Was it the yeah yeah? It was my first time uh, on screen acting, so like you know what I mean? I I, I didn't know really how I was gonna you come across you know what i mean uh -huh. and so it was kind of it was kind of scary when okay. i when i first when i first started but um you know will was a great resource morgan mm -hmm. cooper was a great resource and um they just reminded me like you're here for a reason and um i feel, I feel like a lot of artists need that need those people to remind them you know what i mean just and, and everyone and, and doesn't have that like when that. they start either mm -hmm. yeah exactly exactly you said sure. it was your first time on screen so did you do like plays and things like yeah, that yeah i did theater i did theater okay. like, i was an on stage actor um tell us some of the roles you played um I played a uh, seaweed and hairspray. You ever seen that? <laughs> I see hairspray, but I don't remember. I don't, see, I don't remember seaweed. Seaweed is like the black guy. <laughs> oh. The All black right. guy, yeah. the, like the yeah. one black guy. Yeah, in the show. I played the one black guy in hairspray. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Got okay. it. No, he's like a main. He's like a main. Character. Yeah, yeah. You never seen the? You seen the movie? Yeah, right? I have. Yeah. Remember he was like running to that. I don't remember that part. <laughs> All right, well. Have you seen Hairspray, Ann? <laughs> I feel like I saw it so long ago. Was it like Ricky, um... Look, Ricky Lake? Yeah. Was no, she... is that Little Shop of Horrors you think of? Okay, no, that's the wrong no. thing. Ricky oh, y'all talking about the OG. Oh, yeah. yeah. See, y'all talking about the that's OG That's so hairspray. long ago. We're so old. I, I know. It was like a new Hairspray that came out okay. like 10 years ago. Sheesh. Yeah. Okay. We're okay, old. well... No. Got it. Okay, yeah. so who else did you play? <laughs> Uh, oh, what else have I your done? Favorite, your, your favorite character to play thus uh, far, besides, you know, your favorite before you got... No, we gotta check the seaweed hairspray. Definitely. Yo, there's videos out there. <laughs> there's videos out there. You do some deep dives. Um, <laughs> dang, what else did I do? <laughs> um, uh, there was a there was a play called um, what was it called? It was like a Green Day play, American Idiot. Okay. And I played uh, the favorite son. That was that was a fun one too. I did that one in college. All right, um, I like that. Yeah. So you kind of knew what you wanted to do. Yeah, yeah, I've always been, like, focused, and I, I kind of knew I, I wanted to tell stories. I love telling stories, whether through music, like, visual arts, acting, yeah. And your your um, music project is coming out soon, too? Oh, not a project, but, uh, like, a couple singles are coming out, though. Ooh, yeah, yeah. you look excited when you talk about yeah, that. Yeah, you yeah, You look nervous, actually, I feel like. You think so? You didn't even see my face. You did like this. <laughs> <laughs> she did but body she see you at the, But you actually, you know what's crazy, like, like... <laughs> like being nervous and like being excited, they live in your same place in your they body. They do, right? Like, you know what I mean. So, so thank you for the, so you, yeah. So you could have you could have felt that nervousness. Okay, too, it might have been like you know thirty percent nervous, seventy five percent excited. <laughs> Got know? it. So so when are we getting these a uh, couple of singles? You know, I would say like May. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How do you have time to do all these things? They got a new movie on deck. Season mm -hmm. three is coming up. You're doing yeah. press. You got music coming out. Yeah. What else do you have going on? Um. Nothing else, really. Like, that's I mean, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just want to make sure we yeah. get everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we got yeah. everything for sure. What about Coco Jones? She's an amazing artist, and you had yeah. the opportunity to work with her. She's Hillary mm -hmm. on Bel Air. Are y'all gonna do any music together? Have you talked about Ooh. it? I love singing with Coco. Mm -hmm. We like we sing together on set all the time. You but, do? Yeah, but we haven't like 
sat down and been like, yeah, let's do something in the studio. Yeah. You need to ask but her. You know, that would be it, nice. I yeah. think that yeah. and that would be amazing. Even just even if it was just something that was like just to kind of promote a show mm-hmm. or something fun that could go viral. Yeah. I think people would like to see that. That'd be fire. That'd be fire. Maybe you could set it up. Let's Good idea. It, yeah. You, yeah. You could yeah. set it up. Like me. And I'm kidding. <laughs> or, 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 like, or us, I'm you kidding. know what I mean? Now, I also told you earlier <laughs> that in the first season uh-huh. when you and Carlton did not like each other, I kind of like that. Mm-hmm. You know, like the the evilness. Why? Yeah, why did you Angela, like that? Why did you like that? Because I'm. That's very toxic. Yeah, I'm dark and evil. Yeah, no. like, <laughs> but sometimes things like that are, are fun. <laughs> no, you're right. Though. You're right. Sometimes though. things like that are fun to yeah. watch, like mm-hmm. on a show, because that was nothing. Like you know, it was they kind of picked at each other. Mm-hmm. But I think seeing that and then y'all all of a sudden became friends. I was like, oh. Yeah. But it feels like y'all might not be friends now in real life, right? There's this founders. What is it? The um, Founders Award. Founders Award mm-hmm. that you did not know you were going to be up for. This is what's going on in Bel Air right now. Right. But it's something that Carlton wants really badly. Mm-hmm. Do you think it would be your duty as a good cousin to be like, hands off? I'm not, I, I'd rather not do it. Or do you feel like this blessing is coming to me? I didn't ask for it. So I deserve it too. Like, who, may about, the best man win. Are you talking about Will or Jabari? I'm talking about Jabari. Oh, oh, in real life? In real life. Yeah, in real life, I would step away. I will okay. just be like, you know, I, I got my eyes set on other things. I'm not really focused on it. And I know how bad he wants it. All right, now let's just say. But me and Will are different. Let's just say. Let's just say uh, there's a role for Spider-Man coming up, right? <laughs> oh, okay. Now, you did an audition. <laughs> mm-hmm. But, you know, do you have a best friend in this business that also acts? No. Oh. Uh, he said, forget it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Let's act like you do. Okay. 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 Let's just say you okay. have a really close friend <laughs> who auditioned for the role, wants it really badly. But somehow they end up calling you. Oh, right. no, that's different. That's different. <laughs> yeah, no, that's different. That's okay. Different. That's How's different. that different? <laughs> like a Founders Award, I feel like a Founders Award is something that is, is something Yeah, it's that, different. You're right. You're right. You, yeah, you, you get it. it. I don't even yeah. gotta say it. You know what yeah, I mean? It's different. It. It's different. Yeah, it's like, different. you know what okay. I mean? Like, okay, so you don't mind, um, even though you didn't audition, you know your friend really wants to tell you about it. <laughs> it's a business. I feel like I didn't see your face, but I feel like you said that with a straight face. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's he, a business. no nervousness there at all. Yeah, no, no. Or excitement. Yeah. It's a business. All right, so how are you feeling right now? Like, are you are you just really, like, over... Because sometimes I feel like fame can be difficult for people, mm-hmm. you know, in the beginning of it. But are you happy? Are you feeling like... I think so. This is what I thought it would be? <laughs> yeah, I'm happy. I really am happy. I'm blessed. Mm-hmm. I Like, I can't even complain at all. You know what I mean? Um, you know, and, and there's uh, it's a lot of ups and downs that come with this lifestyle and with the business and stuff. But I'm just... I'm blessed to even be here. Like, you know what I mean? I'm blessed to even be able to tell this story and, mm-hmm. and for it to be uh, received very well and to be doing stuff like this at on Way Up with Angela Yee you uh, know what I mean? and Jasmine and like it's like it's he's up, so charming it's he's it's good she is charming you know what I mean because it's uh because you know what I mean like <laughs> that's because he uh, wasn't cute when he was in, in high school yeah yeah, yeah so I didn't have to lean on that <laughs> yeah no no but uh you know like two years ago I was, it was way different for me you know right. what I mean it was, it was way different for me so um what were you doing two years ago I was sleeping on friends' couches, trying to make it work, okay. trying, trying to be here, couch, like, like actually doing that. So, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of sounds like everybody has the same story in that way, or like that's kind of cliche. But yeah, a lot of people can resonate with that because that was, that was my lifestyle, you know. So, uh, a lot I put of a lot of work to be here. Yeah, yeah a lot it of sacrifices. It is a lot of work. Yeah, yeah. All right. Do you guys get to ad lib on the show, or do oh you, yeah? Or do you okay? So yeah. you don't have to stick to the script like that. Um, no, no. Well. Well, you, you we try we try to say what's in the wheelhouse of it, but you know, we can we could throw in little things here and there to make it seem like a little realer, you know what I mean? And can you text like Will Smith just to be like, Hey, you know, what do you think about this? Or did you check out this do y'all like talk? Does he hit you up and like I just watched the episode? It was Yeah. yeah. That's amazing right oh, there. Oh, you're famous. No, you're, I know that's famous, famous. No, you yeah. know what's crazy? Something some something crazy happened, like I was so mad about it. So I was on my way to London. Uh, I was on a plane and and I and I get a FaceTime from Will. But I'm I'm on the plane, so I can't well, you're answer. You're not supposed it. to. Yeah. I can't answer. <laughs> well, you look like you're like you're not no, supposed to. No, the door's no, closed. No, exactly. I can't <laughs> answer it. So I'm like, I'm like, yo, I text him like, yo, what's up? He's like, yo, I'm with Travis Scott right now in Saudi, and he's raving about the show. Oh, and like he called me, and I was like, oh, this is crazy because I wish I could answer that. Like, you should have just Travis did it. Scott. My phone, like I could, I couldn't answer. Like I couldn't. Like if the service wouldn't go through. Oh, it wouldn't go yeah. through. Yeah, you tried. You tried. Yeah, no, I did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> They'd have been like, "Sir, please go, <laughs> sir," mad. and they'll get off the plane and I kick you mad. right off. I was mad. Yeah, no, I bet. Dope. That's dope though. Yeah. And then, but you know what's even doper? Now Travis Scott thinks you sent Will Smith to voicemail. <laughs> that is dope. <laughs> yeah, <That's> how- <laughs> true. I didn't think about that. That's Who, so. Who's the most um, famous person that you've met thus far? 
because I'm, no, I'm sure you lot, met a lot. Will Smith. Of, yeah, I think yeah, Will Smith. Smith. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> That'll do it. That'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, let's yeah, put it sure. in the atmosphere. I saw you want to do Spider Man. Hopefully, they come mm-hmm. knocking on the door for That'll you. Nice, yeah. That would be really nice. I can see yeah. that, right? You can see it. Mm-hmm. And congratulations on everything. You said you leave to Vancouver when? Um, beginning of May. Beginning of May to start filming, right? and you yeah. got two singles coming out in May. Yeah, exactly. All right. So May's gonna be a good month. All right, yeah. well, booked and busy, well, Jabari. Thank you so much for coming through. It was a pleasure to have you. Wow, thank you for having me. Yeah. Appreciate it. Way up. Way up.